Malong the Magic Cloth Story by Mary Ann Ordinario Illustrated by Pepot Atienza The story showcases an array of uses for malong, which is a traditional cloth in the Philippines. The malong is traditionally used as a garment by both men and women. It bears a variety of geometric and ochre designs that showcases the artistry of the different tribes of Southern Philippines. This is Malong, the Magic Cloth.
everyone and welcome to our storytelling session. Are you ready kids for today's story? Oh, but before that, I have something to show you. Do you know what this thing is called? Yes, it's a malon. What makes the malon so special? Find out. The mystery of the magic cloth as a little boy tells his true to life exceptional journey with his family. Children carry a little bit of enchantment all the time. This is the ultimate book for them to discover the magical things around them. But for your information, this story won as best in fiction at the International Children's Content Rights Fair ICCRF 2017 in Chiang Mai, Thailand. The title of our story today is Malong, the Magic Cloth. Story by Mary Ann Ordinario and art by Peppot Atienza. The story goes like this. What a mystery these Malons hold, the roles they play in our stories told. My dear brother Azim, do you know that we have a treasure called the magic cloth? a cloth that does wonderful things for us. We call this Malo. I remember as Ina gently swayed the magic cloth, she hummed you a soft lullaby. Oh, how you slept so peacefully. When we sleep at night, the malon covers our bed. But when I hear the buzzing sound of the mosquitoes, I grab the malon and use as a mosquito net to save us from their painful and itchy bites. I wrap myself tightly from the cold, dark night. And if the mosquitoes won't stop buzzing, I twist the melon like a long stick. I swing it round and round like a fan to scare the mosquitoes away. It was your birthday party. Ina took the handy melon again. We use it to cover the table beautifully. And on it, they served my favorite pato and dinatak. When there are school programs, you hear the striking music of the agong and kulintang. As the colorful magic cloth is worn, with beauty and royalty, the dancers move and sway gracefully. When we go for a swim, Ama makes the malon into life rafts for us to be safe while enjoying and splash in the river. And Ina waiting in the river bank holds another malon like a towel to be rubbed on our wet face, hands, and feet. When the ladies wash or take a bath in the lakeside, there is privacy for them to hide. They take the malon and presto, a dressing room you can see. They just bite one end of the magic cloth and their hands are free to change their clothes. When Ama works in the fields, a sack of rice, camote and cassava becomes this cloth just by tying one end into a knot. As Ina goes to the backyard to feed the chickens, 
she slowly ties the malo around her waist. Oh, the magic is working again. The malo turns into a waist pouch. She fills the small pouch with rice grain. Then she gets the grain from the pouch, extends her open palm up in the air and throws the rice grain away like little fireflies in the air as the chickens run to peck their tweets away. Once Bapa came running, Bapa's feet were hurting. He fell from a carabao while farming. He could not walk. She screamed. It is an emergency. Help! So I must slung the melon on a bamboo pole spread it out like a big mat. And oh, the cloth once again did its magic and carried Papa to the doctor. During war, the Malung turns into a handy bag. We pack our things inside the bag in a hurry. In the forest, we run to hide in a flurry. When Apu Ama passed away, the Malun had a role to play. Before a bath, it is used to cover his body. When we pray five times a day to ask for God's mercy, the Malun can be used anywhere as our special prayer mat, where we kneel, bow, and worship before sunrise and after sunset as the day goes by. I have never seen a cloth so beautiful that can turn magic of them all. What a mystery these Malungs hold, the roles they play in our stories told. And that's the end of our story today. Thank you and God bless.